A wooden trolley of mass 2.7 kg moves to the left with a constant velocity of 3 meters per second. A bullet of mass 0.03 kg is fired horizontally from the left towards the trolley. See diagram A. Okay, we can see in the diagram that the trolley is moving to the west and the bullet is moving to the east. Let's carry on and hear the stories. Uh, the bullet strikes the trolley and comes to rest inside the trolley in 0.02 seconds. Okay. The average net force exerted by the trolley on the bullet during this time is 591 newtons. So the net force exerted by the trolley on the bullet is 591 newtons. Right. The bullet trolley combination now moves to the right. See diagram 2. As we can clearly see in diagram 2. Uh, let's go ahead and answer the equations. The first question, 4.1, oh, we are told that we can ignore all frictional and rotational effects, okay? Write down the magnitude and direction of the average unit force that the bullet exists on the trolley. 4.1, we are given the average unit force that the trolley exists on the bullet. Now we want the average unit force that the bullet exists on the trolley. Neutrons third law, so they should have the same magnitude, but in opposite directions, okay? So the magnitude of the net force that the bullet exists on the trolley will be 591 newtons. That is 4.1. Let's take a look at 4.2. Calculate the magnitude of the velocity with which the bullet strikes the trolley. Calculate the magnitude of the velocity with which the bullet strikes the trolley. Let's jot down the information we have. The information we have is going to guide us to the formula we need to use. So we have F, which is equal to 591 newtons. Okay. We're interested on the bullet because we want the magnitude of the velocity with which the bullet strikes the trolley. Okay. So this will be 591 newtons to the left this is to the left okay because the trolley is moving to the left when it is the bullet it will apply efforts to the left so that is one thing we know another piece of information we have is the mass of the bullet it is 0 0.03 kgs right uh what are we looking for the question says we must find the magnitude of the velocity with which the bullet strikes the trolley the bullet comes to rest inside the trolley in 0 0.02 seconds. So we have a delta T, which is equal to 0 0.02 seconds, and a VF, which is equal to 0. This is when the bullet rests inside the trolley. What we are interested in is VI, the velocity at which the bullet strikes the trolley. If you take a look at our variables, you can see that they are taking us to F net is equal to the change in momentum divided by the change in time, where F net will be equal to minus 591, being equal to the mass multiplied by VF minus VI. The mass of the bullet, that is 0 0.03, multiplied by VF. VF is 0. What is VI? What we are interested in. Everything divided by the change in time. The change in time is 0 0.02. So we are going to cross multiply. If we cross multiply, we're going to have minus 591 multiplied by 0 0.02, which will give us minus 11.82 being equal to. Okay, 0 0.03 multiplied by 0, that is 0. And then 0 0.03 multiplied by minus VI is going to be minus, minus 0 0.03 VI. If we divide both sides by minus 0 0.03, so let me just go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm getting 394. So VI is equal to 394 meters per second, which is a realistic speed for a bullet. It makes sense. If we were getting 20 meters per second, it wouldn't make sense. But a velocity of 394 meters per second 
for a bullet makes sense okay it's traveling just above the speed of sound in a let's carry on that is 4.2 4.3 state the principle of conservation of linear momentum in words well the total linear momentum in an isolated system remains constant or is conserved okay that is 4.3 not not triggered there whatsoever it should be your max we are getting 4.3 what about 4.4 4.4, calculate the magnitude of the velocity of the bullet trolley combination after the collision. So in 4.3, I defined the linear momentum in words. In 4.4, I'm most likely to use it. So I'm going to start by saying that the sum of the momentum before is equal to the sum of the momentum after. This formula will earn you a mark. Even if you don't say M1, V1, even if you don't do that, this formula is going to earn you a mark. Just the way it is. The sum of momentum before is equal to the sum of momentum after. So you must start with this formula. Because if you start with that one that says M1, V1, you might get it wrong. But there's no way you will get this formula wrong. It is always like this. There is no... Yeah, there's nothing you need to change. It's just always like this. Okay? Now we can go ahead and take a look at our situation. We want the magnitude of the velocity of the bullet trolley combination after the collision. So initially, we have the bullet. So we're going to calculate uh, the momentum of uh, the bullet plus the momentum of uh, the trolley. So let me use T. And then now we're going to have the momentum of uh, the bullet and the trolley. Okay. The momentum of the bullet before the collision is 0.03 multiplied by vi which we just calculated above which is 394 plus the momentum of the trolley so the mass is 3 and no the mass is not 3 the mass is 2.7 and the velocity is 3 but to the west or to the left so this is going to be minus 3 being equals to the momentum of the bullet trolley system so now we have m1 plus m2 so that is 2.7 plus 0 0.03 multiplied by vf which is what you're interested in so let me just put together all those numbers on the left hand side and see what i get i'm getting 3.72 so i have 3.72 being equals to 2.73 vf now i just need to divide both sides by 2.73 so 3.72 divided by 2.73 that is 1.36 so i have 1.36 meters per second to the right to the right am i only looking for the magnitude right i'm looking for the magnitude so i don't have to right to the right or to the left so yes that is question four i've already done question five if you have not watched it then click on the channel and go ahead and watch it tell me which question you want me to do next just leave a comment i'm gonna check it out